What's this? Dream mode takes pictures of what your subject is thinking. Warning, pictures are a personal violation and may lead to extreme misunderstandings. That is worth the risk. Sweet, it works. I gotta find someone else to test this out on. Aw, oh, Matt, you don't stand a chance, ever. Speak of the competition. Hello, Matt. I was just picturing you. <laughs> How did I look? Heroic or gentlemanly? Ah, uh, let's just say good enough to hit on. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying out a new camera setting. Care to be my model? Oh, sure. Give me 10 minutes to get ready. No problem. I'll see you at Bowen Park. Okay, I'll see you there. What the? Holly, what are you thinking about right now? Oh, just about how well we connect on the show. <laughs> Ouch. Not a good picture? Not my favorite. <laughs> Holly, you feeling a little competitive today? No more than usual. Why, do you want something a little bit more intense? No, 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 this, this has been fun. Here. Smile. Weird. Uh-huh. I want some ice cream. Chocolate. Chocolate ice cream, it's soothing, soothing ice cream. Happy ice cream. Yeah, let's, let's go do that. Okay. Hey, Matt. Yeah? Uh, how come in that picture you're on the ground, curled up, and crying? <laughs> I, uh, just a question. Just wondering. <laughs> Welcome once again to another exciting episode of The Locker Room. My name is Matt Carter. And I am Holly Robinson. For today's show, we are at Shawnigan Lake. Yes. And uh, we're here with Wakeboard Stu. Yes, from Wake Entity. And he's going to be teaching us a little bit about wakeboarding and wake surfing. That's right. I mean, I've never even heard about wake surfing until today, so I'm really curious about what it is. Exactly. And I have about 30 seconds of experience watching it on YouTube. So again, I'm a little bit nervous. So a little fear I might die after all that old saying is, you know, if I die before I wake. But I'm thinking Stu might be able to help us out with what's going on. So let's head over to Wakeboard Stew and find out what's going on again with wakeboarding and wake surfing. And wake surfing, yeah. Well, I got my wetsuit wrapped up and I got one dozen beer. Today, the air's not chilly and the sky is blue and clear. It's hard to cast a true stone when falling down to my own advice. is my Christ right away. Wake surfing is a fairly new sport. It's similar to wakeboarding, but the boat travels about 10 miles an hour and you surf behind the boat. Right away, right away. So what you do is by edging into the wave on the wake surfboard, you create your own speed. And that speed allows you to carry with the boat at the same speed of the boat. Now, my friends are out riding, cause they know just what I mean. We be a far away from violence and that in a citizen. It can be a little bit challenging at first to get out of the water. The board is a little bigger than a wakeboard, so it does displace a little more surface area. If you use that board to your advantage by making a wing out of it so it flies up out of the water, it's almost easier. 
If you fight it and keep the board in a parallel position to the back of the boat, it plows and it can actually be more difficult. So depending on how you use the board, it can be easier or more difficult. It's pretty wild watching Stu do the wake surfing. Again, um, getting off the boat, just riding the wake for forever and doing all sorts of tricks. And it was kind of neat just seeing him sort of almost float there from the back of the boat. It was really neat to see how close uh, you end up riding to the boat. Um, it's almost touching distance. I sort of didn't understand the physics of it all. After all, I got a C plus in science in grade 10, but I was able to watch him and I'm like, wow, he seems like a good instructor. Let's, let's give it a try. I don't know if I'll be able to uh, stay up for quite as long as Stu. <laughs> really? Maybe I have a not. feeling, I have a feeling it might be some water up my nose. Put your feet in there. This is the dry suit. It lengthens the water sport seasons right into the fall and spring. Keeps you warm and dry. As you can see, it's suctioned seat. right on there, so there's no water that's going to get through, and that's the same uh, for the ankles and the neck. <laughs> My head has to fit through there. It's like she's being born all over again. <laughs> the shadows. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> All right. Now that Holly and I have had any experience with wake surfing, and uh, Holly's going to go first. <laughs> In my mind, I'm thinking, eh, I might not be able to do this, you know, but that's okay uh, because you'll never be able to do new things if you don't just try, try, and try again until you succeed. Holly, of course, with that uh, low center of gravity and the uh, sort of joie de vivre she has about life and that competitive spirit and uh, a, just a subtle tinge of meanness, I think will enable her to do really well at wake surfing because really she's just going to try to stay on the board longer than I am. Holly, this is what you're going to do for wake surfing, okay? You're going to be out there with the board floating in front of you. You're going to have your left hand on the rope and your right hand on the edge of the board that is closest to you. When the driver puts the boat in gear and the rope tension gets tight, you push down on the board and put your feet up on the board. And then two hands back on the rope. So you're going to be on the board, being pulled by the boat. When you're ready to go, you say, hit it. She put it in the right position, popped up right away, and she knew how to wait before she stood up. She was waiting for the boat speed to come up in the water to be a little firmer underneath her before she put pressure on the board and stood up. You have so much fun when you're standing up. You're feeling so good. You got the wind in your face. It's so much fun that even though the wipeout is a bit of a, you know, a bit of a knock at times. <laughs> Still, you just want to go try it again. That a girl. Hit it. My first thought when Holly rallied up on the wig surfboard though, uh, there was was pretty incredible because I did put a whole bunch of cayenne pepper into her dry suit. You know what? It's actually so warm in the dry suit. Didn't seem to bother her whatsoever. So no, she jumped up like a champion. Basically, no problem at all. I was got to admit a little bit, a little bit nervous to try to. Uh, get up there to that level of professionalism and athletic qualities. We are not really made to go on top of water as humans, but you know, we're, we're doing it. We're almost walking on water here. I didn't manage to actually let go of the rope. I didn't quite make it that far. My confidence wasn't quite there. I just really wanted that rope still. Um, I did stay up for, you know, longer than I thought I would, so I'm really happy with it. I thought it was so much fun. Definitely though, you know, when you go down, you go down fast, you go down hard, and you get a lot of water up, you know, up your nose. Not all the time, I kind of was getting better at the falling near the end, but uh, I had some pretty good uh, wipeouts out there. <laughs> Whenever Holly shows up for the shoot, or even brushes her teeth, I feel pressure. Everything's sort of done with the utmost in competitiveness. I think I have better balance than Matt. Just saying. She's a natural. She can't play a saxophone, but... I, I would love to see him do the, wind, uh, the wake surfing with the saxophone. 
That'd that be would good. be money. That'd be money. Yeah. Bring your socks? Nope. Just my sense of confidence. That's why it's really fun working with Holly on the show because she is so talented, has a competitiveness, and proved it right again there with the uh, with the surfing. So I'm like, wow, I really got to um, pull up these old shorts here and give her a go, eh? And hit it! Hit it! So far, it's not looking so good for Kartar. <laughs> Matt did a lot of things right, but there were a couple of things that could make it a lot easier for him to get out of the water. The angles of the board and the direction that we're traveling, there'll be a lot less pressure on his hands. That's why the rope got pulled out of his hands. So let's get that straight with him right now. <laughs> the truth of the matter is, it's just a little bit awkward in there for the first time. Of course, with the wake surfboard, your feet aren't strapped in. Hold up. In the dry suit, you've got a little bit of air in it, so you're sort of like the, the Michelin man, sort of floating around. Well, I mean, not Michelin man, because he's very tired, but some, <laughs> some sort of inflatable dummy. Well, especially in me, case, definitely inflatable dummy. And so to get yourself right in behind the boat and be parallel, it's a bit more of a struggle than you think. Hit it. Hit it. Now. Matt had a little bit of a dip, hard time with keeping his arms straight. He couldn't quite get that straight in his mind, and he, he blew a few starts because of that. Hit it. Yeah. Wakeboarding, wake surfing, they're progressive sports, so it's one step at a time with everything. That time he had it a lot closer. He yeah, was even like, almost up for a second there, so um, I really think that this is the lucky time, this time for Matt. It's a progressive sport, so get your legs in the first place, get your arms in the, in the right place. I uh, listening to Stu, Holly's hacking you from the boat. A lot of stuff going through your head. Hit it. The first time I actually managed to get up wasn't quite as smooth as the peanut butter I usually buy for the homestead. Um, it actually sort of the board was just going like that. No, I, I thought it was just sort of maybe they were throwing some wake at me. But as Stu pointed out, basically I was trying to myself settled on the board. So I was sort of going like left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. It was actually myself causing the, uh, the bucking bronco and the near reverse peristalsis to happen there. On, on the board. That was great though, he got up out of the water, that's the first step. Now that he's out of the water, we're gonna get him standing comfortably. A little shaky that time. He had trouble getting up there at first, and so I was wondering if he was gonna be able to, to or not, and I was thinking, yeah, I got this one. Hit, hit it. When you're first getting pulled by the boat, I mean, you have all sorts of drag the board being in the water. It's like, oh man, is this, is this gonna happen? It's choppy, the wake's starting to come up in the boat. And then that moment where you finally get the angle right, slide right up on top of the water, your feet are in a good place, and all of a sudden it's super smooth. It's so comfortable. And just to sort of then be there in the right, uh, in the right stance, in the right place, you got folks on the board cheering you, or on the boat cheering you on. Good work, buddy. It's actually really quite an amazing, beautiful feeling. He had trouble getting out of the water, and so I was wondering how long he'd be able to stay standing on the board. And I'm shocked. I'm sure you're all kind of shocked at home too, aren't you? But you know, it goes to show that even if you have trouble at first, uh, you can actually have a lot of fun at this sport. It, even beginners, you know, your first day out, you could be doing this and having a lot of fun. He was doing really well, and I think he almost like wake surfed longer than me, which I'm not too thrilled about. I don't know how that happened. Wake surfing. Awesome. All right, so wake surfing, a couple ups, a couple downs, but overall very good. Now we're going into wake boarding. So main difference here, of course, we're strapped in, a little more like a snowboard. So uh, yeah, we'll have to talk to Stu and see exactly what the differences are between wake surfing and wakeboarding. Uh, hopefully one of them is that it's easier for me than home. Ready? 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 Here we go. Woo! Wakeboarding is a little different than wake surfing. Yep. You're on a long line, 75 feet back, and the boat travels at faster speeds, usually in the area of 17 to 22 miles an hour. Uh, depending on how comfortable you are with your wakeboarding ability, your boat speed goes up. If you uh, think about wakeboarding as a, a sport, there's a lot that you can do with wakeboarding as far as progression goes. There's a lot of tricks. Definitely can get some air wakeboarding. We've all seen people do big air. 
To do it properly does take a lot of practice. There's a lot of technique to do it, and to do it safely takes a little bit of practice for sure. We are towing one of our cameramen behind the boat in an inflatable chair type thing, and uh, I guess when we suddenly stopped, he kind of went over the back, and so he got his face wet, I think, and everything. Um, needless to say, yeah, he's um, soaking wet, but we got a life jacket on him, so he's safe. He's good. What did you, did you hear something? I think I hear music. The sound of music. The sound of surfing music. There is music somewhere. From Derek, Derek? Schmaltz. Derek Schmaltz. Former 1980s pop star Derek Schmaltz is back. He's best known for his epic 10-minute love ballads and such radio hits as Girl, I Think You're Radical and I'm Quite a Guy, just like Magnum P.I. Today, his appeal is much more selective as he performs his songs his way without a shred of dignity. Derek Schmaltz, pop icon. I started writing songs again and I wanted to bring back in my backup singers from the 1980s, but they're quite elderly now, really. And so one's playing bingo and one threw her back out. So I found some beautiful ladies instead, but they turned me down initially. Then I offered them a lot of money. This is called wake surfing. <laughs> First off, let's just like stand up, and then um, I don't know. She'll flip when she sees me standing up. That's where the flip will happen. Okay, guys, welcome to wakeboard school. Here we go. There's a lot of uh, verbal instruction that can be done in the boat, so that your time in the water is maximized. You don't want to be blowing starts out there, getting tired. So I, I run through the verbal how to wakeboard, and you're going to be in this position. You got your arms straight still and your knees are fully bent. Uh, okay, and then we put the person in the water and do the instructional at the back of the boat. It's a lot of hands-on. Yep. Keep your arms straight and you let your knees bend as the boat starts to pull you. Are your arms straight? Nope. Oh, there you are. There you go. <laughs> Once you get out there and start feeling what's happening, you'll start understanding what I said to you verbally. Boat starts to pull you, let your knees bend. That's it, your arms are straight, that looks good. Usually when somebody feels getting up out of the water, they have it locked in their mind and they never forget it. 
Into the, the water you go. Gone. Yeah. I have wakeboarded in the past. Um, I did it quite a bit when I was a teenager, but then I haven't really done it uh, for about eight years. So it has been a little while. When you're ready. up on the wakeboard I, I didn't know how I would get up on the wakeboard if it would take me a bit to remember it or if I would just pop out uh, of the water and luckily I did kind of come right back up there and as soon as I got up there I was like oh this is feeling pretty good I was very surprised to see Holly jump up right away I think she uh, wasn't completely honest with her wakeboarding ability she said she hadn't done it in a long time and didn't really wakeboard that much but it was obvious that she had some experience out there. I was very impressed. She seemed a little overconfident. We want to just slow her down a little bit so she doesn't get hurt. So we get to wakeboarding. And earlier in the day, Stu uh, demonstrates some stuff. He's doing flips and jumps and all sorts of stuff and getting lots of good air. So I'm thinking, okay, well now it's down to us amateurs. So then Holly goes out there and she gets a bunch of air. So I'm like, what the heck is this crap? I mean, really, I have to go out after this? After Matt kind of tried to show me up on the wake surfing, I thought, I better step my game up here. I mean, Holly did just such an amazing job. I mean, just cutting back and forth over the wake, getting some jumps. Um, you know, I was intimidated twice in my life, and that was one of those times. I'd say she was very enthusiastic. She's taking risks, which, we're going to take risks in this sport, but they've got to be smart risks. You have to have the fundamentals down first. Once you get those fundamentals, then you can start pushing it and taking a few more risks. I was having so much fun, but my legs were like, when I was out there, they were burning already, and I was even thinking, like, should I just let go? Like, I can't do this forever. So by the time I finally did go down, made it back to the boat and I said, I can't do any more. I actually was trying to climb up and I was like, I feel like I can't walk now. <laughs> She's a noodle. Seriously, I'm like, ah, ah. <laughs> I find this boat pretty entertaining. Ooh, they'll come back. <laughs> they'll come back by tomorrow. <laughs> Medic. <laughs> Medic. Yeah, this is my first time wakeboarding. I've never tried this before, so I'm just gonna listen to Stu and keep it pretty chill and, uh, you know, if I try to pull out something fancy for the camera a bit later on, you know, concussions be darned that I will, but for the first bit, I'm just gonna try to stand up and, yeah, have a good time. Uh, okay, that works too. So I'm jumping into the water for the wakeboarding, and to be honest, I'm still feeling pretty good about the whole wake surfing uh, experience. So I'm thinking, okay, well, you know, I'll probably flop maybe one or two. Matt, wakeboarding, take one. For some reason, I think he's gonna get up the first time. I think I might be wrong, but I'm gonna guess with he's gonna get up the first time. Part of me might say third, I'm gonna go first though, first time. Do that! We might have to go back to number three. I'm not feeling really helpful of number two at all, no. <laughs> Take two. My call is three, come on man. I'm saying come five, on, I'm on. saying, I'm calling five. Okay, okay, Saz, you want four? Oh, yeah. this time, third try. Third try? Third try. Okay, I'll go for it. I'll go for it. <laughs> I'm five. Yeah, five. So that time, he just pulled the board underneath him too much. If you think about your hand outside the car window, instead of putting it on this angle, he put it on that angle, and the board got pulled underneath him. This time, we're going to get him on that angle. Take three. I told you three was no good. Four is the ticket. Four. Bye-bye, Staz. <laughs> Down. You know, I, I definitely saw him spit some water out, so I think he's getting a lot of water when he's plowing under there. I think we, we should tell him you're supposed to go above the water, not under. Maybe he doesn't know. No matter what, whether it was sprained limbs or cat calls from Holly. You're supposed to go on top of the water, Matt, not under it. Thanks, Holly, for the physics lesson. Or the exhaust fumes from the boat, or the beating down sun, or my cell phone going off from the bank saying I haven't paid my loans yet. Doesn't matter. I'm I'm gonna get a run. This is gonna happen. Four's my time, Matt. This time. Take four. Uh, can I name 12 right now? <laughs> <laughs> Matt had a really hard time with keeping his arms straight. 
arms straight. That took up at least four or five tries. To five. The guys in the boat say I was getting a little bit frustrated. Don't know if that was true or not. Maybe once. Take six. We saw him get a little frustrated out there. And it's still having a little bit of trouble, so we put him on a short line so that I could talk with him while we were pulling him. Six, seven. There it is. That's the position right there. On the short line, I could see that he didn't have the board on enough of an angle to pop him up out of the water. Yep. So I yelled yep. at him, and I said, put that board on more of an angle, and he did it, and boom, he was out of the water. Yeah, buddy. Let's see if we can do it on the long line now. Take eight. As Stu was mentioning the whole time, he's being very positive, helping me out, saying, again, it's a progressive sport. Get the hands, get the arms first. Then get the angle, get the feet, get that. And so I definitely, <laughs> I definitely uh, got my uh, money's worth <laughs> in terms of Stu's instruction. Nine. I was incredibly impressed by Matt's uh, drive to keep going today. <laughs> he must have been tired out there. I'm sure he was. I'm giving up hope. You know, I could sort of sense on the boat, everyone's like, oh no, is, is Matt actually going to get this. Oh, he's mad. He's done. He's tired. I can tell the look on his face. He's getting tired and frustrated. I think that was part of the what was inside of me. It's like, no, I'm going to do this not only for myself, not only for the great work Stu was doing, but, you know, for the crew of the show. He was so close. He could taste the victory. He knew he could do it. He had already gotten up on the wake surfboard. So, like, he really, really knew he could do this. Take 11. So the first time I get up, I'm feeling all right, put the board sideways, and it's staying sideways, and I'm like, I'm still alive. I'm just going to stay in this state of being for a little bit longer. And unfortunately, um, it did end up in some sort of plow into the water. I was even not egging him on, but I was like, come on, Matt, quit already. You know, I was being nice, but I was like, come on, Matt. <laughs> I've won this one, give it up, you know, but he still, he wouldn't give it up. He stayed in the water, and... Take 12. very satisfying, especially when the, the student's been that dedicated to try and get up. Uh, that's why I do this. I am so impressed. We are all so impressed because we know, like, what a beating he took getting to that point that, you know, like, you almost have to give it to him just for the perseverance. Anybody can do these sports. You just have to be patient. If you're having a hard time, don't get frustrated. Matt, you did great today, buddy. Again, it was frustrating at first, the fact it didn't come naturally, but uh, stuck with it. And to actually get up on the board and get a ride, it's so smooth. Once you get up there in the water, uh, it just made the whole day and all these really painful limbs really worthwhile. Well, uh, there's our day of a wake surfing and wakeboarding down. And I, have I think to, I won. Uh, I have to admit, <laughs> Miss Modesty over here, um, <laughs> nice dance moves. Yeah, no, a little bit more adept, I think, with the wake surfing and the wakeboarding. Um, again, uh, 10 years professional experience on the wakeboarding circuit. We'll have that, which you didn't tell you about at the start of the show. But, you know. Uh, if you want to try wakeboarding or the wake surfing, uh, you can check out Stu's company at wakeentity.com, and you could be a pro like us. I don't know about like us, like Holly for us, but yeah. No, big thanks to Stu again. Helped me out, uh, like my first time work surfing, wakeboarding, and I got my got my rides in and I was hoping to do. So thank you so much, Stu. And to all who are folks again on the uh, the, tr the trail boat there? Uh, Rob and Emily. 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 That's how you say it, Emily. <laughs> yes, thanks to them, the trail boats. And uh, once again, yes. wakeentity.com. Lots of fun down here. Yes. At, uh, and Shawnee if you Lake. want to maybe be on our show, have us come Ooh. check out your sport, uh, or you just have any questions or comments, uh, you can check out our website or give us a phone call. Absolutely, contact us. Yeah. <laughs> contact us on the locker room. Once again, for the locker room here on Shot TV, my name is Matt Carter. And I am Holly Robinson. We'll see you next time. Awesome.